We do indeed, but this is not your regular slow-moving tortoise. This is a very, very special tortoise. And I feel quite sorry for this little tortoise because I don't think it's very well at all. And I think it's gone through a lot in its life. So if you have a the shell is very, very white on one side and is missing that sort of shell-like color. So I think this poor tortoise was caught in a fire and was unfortunately, its shell was damaged by fire. And I'm not sure if its legs are damaged because it's not really moving around, but it is definitely from fire. Because if you have a look at this area over here, you see that this is all actually melted away. And there's what the normal shell should look like. And this is what it actually looks like now. So unfortunately, I think this poor tortoise had a really rough time. Maybe it was two years ago we had a really big fire in this area and it could have easily have happened then because this outer shell here has really weathered quite a bit and you would only really see a tortoise's shell like this when they were dead. So when we first walked past we thought it was just the shell of the tortoise and as we opened the bushes up a little bit we noticed this little head poking out and so this poor little tortoise is still here. Now it is a leopard tortoise so it's got that very dome shell even though it's been kind of burnt off and the coloration's not there anymore we can still see the dome shape of the shell as well as some of the coloration on that right hand side and this I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl so I haven't decided what I'm going to name it. Rebecca reckons that I should name it Beyonce after the song that she sung Survivor so maybe we should call it that. It looks like it's big enough to be a girl so we can go with Beyonce. This is going to be Beyonce the Leopard Tortoise and we shall monitor Beyonce's progress. I'll come back later this afternoon and see if maybe Beyonce got out and managed to find a way to carry on with the day. Now she is in a good place because she's got lots and lots of vegetation here that she can feed off and also she's got water right behind her so if she needs to move around and go anywhere she does have this beautiful pan that she can come and drink at. Not that this water is beautiful in any way you can see it's very filthy and that's why the Ellie's actually just walked straight past it they didn't worry about this at all they didn't come and drink and this is where I was hoping they were going to come and drink when we were talking about it earlier but it's just so full of muck and dung that I don't think the Ellie's want to drink at all.